if you're not able to figure out these things, it means you need to start off with algebra. Now, what's the solution to this particular one? The first, second, third, fourth, till the last. Pause the video and try it. And then let's follow it together. What is A plus A? Put it in the comment section. If you add one to this, because this A, the coefficient is one, the coefficient of this is one, one plus one will give you two. And because the A is common, then you take one. And the next one, A times A. A times A will give us A squared. A squared plus A squared. They have coefficient one, one. So that one plus one will give you two. And because A squared they are common, you just have two A squared. That's the result. Hope you're getting me correct here. And it's adding one half. Then we have A squared times A squared. We'll be a product of indices. When the B's are the same, take one of the B's and then you add the power. 2 plus 2, and that will give you a to the power of 4. That's the result for a squared times a squared. And the next one is a to the power of 9 divided by a to the power of 4. Because the bases are the same, take one of the bases, this is division law of indices, and then you subtract the power. So 9 minus 4, that will give you 5. So we have the result to be a to the power of 5. Hope you're following me. Please make sure to like this video. Okay, so that other of your colleagues will enjoy from it. So here, with your base, Power law or product power law, where we just have a single base and then the power inside of the bracket multiplied the one outside of the bracket. So a times a gives us 24. So that's the result for that. This obeys zero exponent or zero law that says anything or any number raised to the power of zero that gives you one. That's basically the state in the base. Alright, so the last one is under fractional index. We have a to the power of seven over four. We check if you want to look at for the denominator, if it is 3, it changes to become the cube root. If it is 2, we have it to be square root. If it is 5, that will be fifth root. Because it is 4, it will become the fourth root of this e to the power of the 7. This comes under fractional index, and that's one of the laws of indices. I hope you found this helpful. If you want to share this video, like it, and follow it for more, because I have a lot of tips for you to help you in this instance. Peace and love.